by my hand. You will rise from the ashes of this world. I want them back! They're my property! Oh, what a day! What a lovely day! Want to get through this? Let's go! As the world fell, each of us in our own way was broken. It was hard to know who was more crazy. Me, or everyone else. shot this movie in a really crazy place. Mm -hmm. How long were you actually in the desert shooting Mad Max Fury Road? We were in Namibia in Africa for, on and off, for six months. And we were in the desert on and off set. You know, you see the, you see the film and, you know, we're really out there in the desert. Everything you see is, you know, what we were living in. Really? So what mm -hmm. was that experience like shooting in that environment? How did you prepare for that? Because that's not every day you actually go to a location like that to shoot a movie. Yeah, I don't think that I don't think that was the sort of the sort of thing you can necessarily prepare for. You just have to be prepared to um, to to do anything. You know, like you really have to just give yourself up completely to it, because it can it's it's excruciating and and tiring and and you'd have like manic moments, you know, to spending that much time and those lengths of hours in such an isolated place. There were moments where you're like, you'd lose your mind almost. So, uh, but it's very rewarding to come out of something so challenging and have, still be alive. Would you say that professionally, this was the craziest location you've ever shot a movie on? Um, well, I've only done two movies, so I haven't got that much experience, but I would say, I mean, both films I've done were kind of insane, you know, the, the size and the volume and, you know, the production on both of them were, you know, were huge and enormous, it doesn't get bigger than that. But, you know, I think that the thing, the challenge with making this movie was battling the elements every day. You know, you're literally in the desert, there's dust storms coming, everyone would have to cover things, and then you're kind of freezing cold, boiling hot one minute. You know, and we're just in close proximities every day with each other, you know? It brings up a lot. You learn a lot about yourself and whether you would survive. Well, the cool thing also about the movie, too, is not a lot of CGI. Yeah. A lot of the stunt work, totally organic. Mm -hmm. What was that like, to get in there and really mix it up and be so physical during the filmmaking process? I love doing the stunts, mm. and I love watching the stunt teams. I think, you know, for me, that's where you see some really incredible, um, you know, talent and, um, you know, I, I love anything that's physical and so um, I, I personally find that doing my stunts is the funnest part of making an action movie. I'm like, oh, I can deal without the dialogue. I just want to go jump through something and uh, hang out of a car. That, that stuff's the fun bit for sure. Very cool. Nice. And what was it like for you? Uh, I mean, same. It's, 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 it's exciting, you know, like to be, um, in, in the space where all this crazy stuff's going on around you and every day it was different too, you know, we got to see things that um, you don't, you don't see and, and, and you know, it's, it's, a, it's a rare experience, um, there's a lot of rare situations that we were put in. Cool. Um, I don't know, I just, I kind of was like a deer in headlights the whole time, I was right. just like experience. Now, How do you know this place even exists? I was born there. Why'd you leave? I didn't. I was taken as a child. 
stolen. You've done this before? Many times. Now that I drive a war rig, this is the best shot I'll ever have. And them? They're looking for hope. What about you? Redemption. Now, when you weren't shooting, when you weren't making a movie, you're in a really cool part of the world. What was there to do and experience when you weren't making a movie? Not Nothing. much. <laughs> <laughs> and we, were, we stayed in the town maybe like an hour away from where we were shooting in the desert, and the town was on the coast of the desert, and it was just, it was isolated. It was a tiny little sleepy town in the middle of nowhere. There was not much to do. I think there was one cinema that showed movies that were maybe like five years <laughs> up behind. We played a lot of Truth or Dare, yeah, put we, it that way. We, we cooked a lot. We bonded as, as a, you know, as, a, as friends. And I think that, you know, a lot of the time when you're making a film like this, when your weekends come around, you want to sleep. You're ready to just sleep <laughs> for a day, for sure. I oh, know. Job well done. Appreciate all the hard work. It looks great. Thank so thanks you. a lot. Appreciate it. Thank thanks. you.